In this video, I'm attaching the rotor to the tail cone of my RV12 IS. Unlike the vertical stabilizer, the rotor will not be permanently attached, so it can be removed later for painting. The top hinge of the rudder can be difficult, since there isn't much room, especially for fat fingers like mine. The bottom hinge is a little easier, but still requires some finesse to get those four washers installed. This part of the drawing shows how the bolt, washers, and nut are installed on each hinge. Here I've gathered all the parts needed plus a couple of homemade tools that to make the job a little easier. This is my bolt holder. I made it out of some spare parts of aluminum. The thin piece of aluminum has a slot cut down the middle to hold the bolts in place. I'm not sure what to call this thing. I saw it online and I thought, hey, I can make one of those. It allows me to slide the washers into place while pushing the bolt through with only a few words of profanity. The first order of business is to hang the rudder on the top and bottom hinges with only the bolts, just to see what size washers I'll need. The available washers come in two flavors, thin and regular, depending on the gaps I run into. Please pardon the boo-boos on my hands. The wife said, yard work first, airplane later. Now that I've determined what size washers I need, I'll put in the bottom bolt with the first washer using my handy dandy bolt holder. Next comes the second washer, which goes between the rudder horn and the hinge assembly. Now for the third washer and the inherent rise of tension for the builder. It also goes between the rudder horn and the hinge assembly. The last step is easy putting on the fourth washer and the lock nut at the same time. At this point, I had already installed the upper hinge bolt, which was too hard to watch, even for me. One last thing that I needed to do was to put on the bottom washer and lock nut on the upper hinge. My wife, the scrapbooker, suggested that I use her roll-on adhesive on the washer and nut to make them stay inside the wrench while attaching it. This worked great. I had no problem putting on the nut using a ratcheting wrench on the upper bolt. This adhesive is the uh, sticky without the usual tape backing. She suggested that I should use it on all the inner washers the next time I install the rudder. Two words, yes dear. Now I'll check the swing of the rudder, making sure it contacts the rudder stops. Thanks for watching my video.
please consider subscribing.